Hello my dear students, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about unit two, lesson one and two, the students of prep three, and the title is books and reading. So we have here a conversation between a boy and a girl and they are talking of course about books and reading. So let's listen together to this conversation. I have some time before my next lesson. Let's, just, let's choose a book to read. There are lots of historical stories here, but there are few detective stories. That's because detective stories are more popular, aren't they? People like trying to solve the problems before the detective. People have less interest in historical stories. Detective stories are too long. I have little time to read this year because I have some more school work. So I want a book with fewer pages than a detective story. This book has the fewest number of pages and will take you the least amount of time to read. Good! That book is about traveling, isn't it? True! This book is good. Its title is 10 facts about the world. I read a review of that book. It said it was very good. I read that. I have some time before my next lesson. Let's just, let's just choose a book to read. So, my friends, today we're gonna talk about a lot of much and many. So, we know that we have countable nouns and the non-countable nouns. So, what is the meaning of countable nouns? Countable noun that you can count there like book like girl do you know can you give me another example yeah i hear you like a chair excellent and we have uncount uncountable nouns like were air time yeah so we have some words and we want to know how to use them so a lot of mean that's a lot you have a lot of things so like i have a lot of books and i have a lot of time to reach my school so a lot of we can use it with countable and non-countable nouns okay what about much okay we use much when we talk about the non-countable nouns the uncountable nouns like i have much time to live i have much time to live he has much time to do homework so this is about something is not uh, that we can't count it okay but many we use it when we can count this thing like we can say he has many pencils okay so is there much ham on the plate no there isn't much there is only three slices okay so we used here much with ham which is not countable we can't count ham so we use much much to say that's a lot but it's for uncountable nuts okay So, has she got many friends? Why did we use here many? Because friends is countable noun. We can count this. We can make it plural. So, the singular is friend and the plural is friends. Excellent. Yes, she has got a lot of friends. So, we can use many 
and we can use a lot of friends with countable nouns. Okay. So, as we said, we can use a lot of to talk about countable and non-countable nouns. Like we can see here, she has got a lot of or lots of and they are equal. They are equal here. A lot of box and this is countable nouns. So, and we can say there is a lot of milk. Okay, yeah, milk is uncountable nouns. So, we can use a lot of or lots of with countable and uncountable nouns. Okay. Are there many people in the room? And people here is countable nouns. A singular of it is person. So, are there many people in the room? Yeah, there are a lot. There are a lot. Or we can say there are a lot of people. So, we can omit F when a lot of is not followed by a noun. Okay? We can use also how much. And how many to ask about the quantity and the number so we said before that much with uncountable nouns so we ask about uncountable nouns with how much so we can say how much sugar do you need okay can we say how much books do you need no we can say that because books is countable noun so we can't use how much with it but we can use how many so how many boys are there in your class and they are 20 the answer is a number okay okay so we have here something we have a lot of which we can use with countable and uncountable nouns okay but how many we use it with the countable only and how much we use it with the uncountable and we can use it in uh, the sentence with many and much okay how much cheese have you got Okay, can you tell me why did we use here much? Yeah, excellent. Because cheese is uncountable noun. How much cheese have you got? A lot. And we can say not much. Okay, how many apples? Okay, why did we use the here? did we use here how many because apples is countable noun and this is a plural noun now so we can answer with a lot of or a lot okay how many sandwiches have you got not many so we said not many which means that you have not a lot of of number so can we say it in another way yeah we can say it we can use a little and a few so we use a few or few with plural countable countable so many is the antimum of few this is the opposite of few now like tomatoes books cups like if i don't have a lot of books we can say or i don't have many books i can say i have few books okay okay few means that not many not many okay when we use a few it means that you don't have many things but this is enough you don't need another thing okay but if you said few it means that it's not many but you need okay 
There are a few tomatoes. We can make salad. Few means hardly any. You need something, okay? There are very few people in the cinema. It is almost empty. So we used here few without a to express that we need people. It's not enough, okay? Okay, we have an example here. Carol, Carol has got a few strawberries. She can make some jam. Okay, can you tell me why did we use here a few? Okay. Excellent, very good. Because strawberry is a countable noun. Jill has got very little flour. She can't make a cake. Why did we use here little? Yeah, excellent. Yeah, excellent, my dear. Because flour is non-countable noun. There are a few potatoes in the bag. So, do we need? No, we have some potatoes, but they are not many. So, we used a few. I hope you enjoy it, guys, and let's go to our games. Okay, now we have a game here. We want to use how much? We want to use any little, no, our and some, and let's play, guys. So, click the right word to complete the sentence. There is, there is empty water bottle. So, lots of, or many, or much, or some, any, no, little, few, yeah, or and. There is, okay, there is. And excellent, very good, guys. There isn't cake left. There isn't cake left. But we have here cake, so we can use much. Excellent, guys, excellent, very good. There are only uh, onions. Okay, we can use onions, but this is a countable noun, so we can use few, so they aren't a lot, they aren't many, so we can use few. Excellent, guys, excellent. How big are there? And X is countable, so can we use many or much? Yeah? Yeah, I hear you. Many. Excellent, guys. Very good. There is butter in the fridge. Can we say some? No, it's not true. There is. Okay, there is little. No. There is much. Oh my gosh, no. There is no butter. You have to look. We don't have any butter here. There isn't mushroom. There isn't mushrooms. And we don't have any mushrooms here. So we will use. Excellent. Very good, guys. There is only a orange juice. Okay, we have here little orange juice. So what would you choose, my little friends? Okay, there is only a little or few. Yeah, little because this is excellent, very good, uncountable.
Okay, I hope you enjoy it, guys. And this is our last sentence. And um, that would be our lesson finished. So, there is milk in the fridge. Do we have milk? Yeah, we have milk. So, there is much milk. No. Okay, can we say? Few. Can we say few? Little? No. Some? No. Come on, guys. Try. There is milk in the fridge. Any? Okay. It's your choice. It's up to you. There is lots of because we have many things here of milk. So I was so happy to be with you today. I hope you got our grammar today and I hope you enjoyed the conversation. See you next time and goodbye.